Right guys, this video is um, just a little bit about what I'm doing work-wise at the minute. Um, you saw the last video of the, the lock, a few things we do at work. Um, this is about a boat. Um, this, is, this boat's called Lanthony. It was a uh, Dunkirk little ship. So it done crossings for the D-Day, um, evacuating the troops um, back in World War II. Um, and the, if you look at the link in the description, it will tell you all of the facts about the boat and, and what happened. Um, and yeah, and, and, and our ship was used. But yeah, it's just a little video on what we're doing. So uh, hopefully we'll get back to some fishing videos soon when there's some fish about and all these storms stop. Right, something a little, little bit different. He was all quite interested, quite a few of his were interested in the last job at Chatham Marina. And this is the latest. We are, I don't know if you can't quite see the size of it. This is, a boat called Le Lamphony. Le Lamphony. It's a Dunkirk little ship. It was part of um, part of the evacuation of all the soldiers from D-Day. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get up there in a minute and I'll show you. I'll show you the inside. I'm just showing you the actual size of it. It's 70, 77 foot in length, this boat. Oh look, there's a little head, look. Hello, Neve. Um, yeah, 77 foot, five inches actually, because I've just read up on Google. Um, I couldn't remember the exact thing. It's powered by two um, Caterpillar 350 horsepower diesel engines that are actually in there, but that's about all it is in there. Um, you can see all these numbers. All these numbers is the thickness of the metal, what's left of it. Um, to be honest, I would have scrapped it, but yeah, someone wants to save it. I mean, obviously it's a, it's a good part of history, but it's a big old job. Right, let's go and see Nathan Allen, see what they're doing. Um, yeah, I think it, I've just been reading up, and I, I'll leave the link actually for it. You can read up this full story yourselves. But it was carrying back 120 passengers a time until it got it. Um, and it says on the it says on the bit of thing, although the uh, although the RAF done a, a, a fantastic job, um, they still let the odd German through. So yeah, she was bombed while I was at sea. They lost four or five crew. It says. Um, and then basically they was just floating around. It severed fuel lines, so the engines died, um, and they was just floating around. But that's the sort of thing you can see. You can see there. That's daylight. That's that's a hole. There's, like I say, there's not much. When we go upstairs, you'll see. You'll just you'll see see just what it's like. Um, I know it's not fishing, guys, and my channel is a fishing channel, but it's all to do with the sea. Someone might be interested, as I said, and I think it's. I think it's quite interesting, it's quite proud actually, quite proud to be able to work on something like this, even though I think it should be scrapped because it's rotten. Um, yeah. Oh, a bit loud that. Here she is. Let me go up the bum end. So what, how I am still working. Look at that for a view. Fill up the concrete in the back. Should really be working, but you know how it is. Right, so basically our job at the minute is, all along here, this, this, all, all this was deck when, when the boat turned up here. And um, it's all been cut out. All new bits of frame put in just so we can sort of work off scaffold boards and things. But what Nathan and Alan are doing now is fitting deck beams as they go over, and you can see that they go with the camber of the boat so that it goes the same shape. Um, and this one's just been fitted, actually, the first one. Hang on, let me get over. It's a bit dodgy, as you can probably tell. But all the sheets all around we've done over the last week. There's been a lot of grinding, a lot of cleaning up to do and they're just setting out where the new deck bits go. But that's too high, so where that, where that bit of metal is that's been cut out there, we've got to cut that all the way around. But we're just waiting for some decent electrics to be put in so we can use our proper tools. Um, but yeah, th this is where the wheel house was, but it was up, up a bit higher. Um, to be honest, well, I haven't really been down this bit, so I don't really, really know where I can walk. Um, but yeah, the lads are in here cleaning up. There's the engines down in there. Two big cats, look. God, it smells of diesel in there bad. There's a fuel tanks. One there, one there. Um, but as you can see, it's rotten. It's all the holes. Nothing left.
there's a lot. An absolute ton still got to be done. Sorry lads, I'm holding you up. Um, right, well I'll bring you back when these two have gone and had lunch and we'll talk a bit more. In a bit. Right, I'm outside now, having my lunch. <clears throat> this is, um, well, this is the boat. This is what's been ripped off. And it's in a scrap pile. Quite a lot, as you can see. Um, well, windows, portholes. Um, loads. Where you saw that concrete in the back of the boat, all these blocks are used as ballast as well, just to keep the boat level. All that's been pulled out. Part of the funnel there. All this deck, it's all teak. It's all been ripped off. Um, some of that's probably it as well, actually. Yeah, some of that's probably from it. But yeah. It's not just old scrappy boats here, look. It's nice big modern ones, too. Well, I say nice. They're big and modern, but they're crap. Um, yeah. I'll have to put the, um, the, uh, um, link for the, for the website that this, that this boat's on, because there's a lot on there. Nathan's saying, um, he's read it all, and, uh, there's a bit there that says it, it go, it was in convoy with four, um, trawler boats. And what they'd done, is said, from that boat, they'd, they'd found a, a Bren gun on the shore, and they'd fitted it to the front of this boat, and as they were going backwards and forwards, they was using the gun to um, to defend. One of the trawlers was hit with a bomb, or it was sunk by by, by the Germans in the planes or whatever it was, um, and it sunk. So then the convoy was down to just three boats and well, three trawlers and that. But yeah, it's a fascinating story, really. As I said, it's good to be working on something like that. Um, although when you're sort of down in the nitty gritty of it, it's still work at the end of the day, that whether it's a nice old boat and it's history or, or whether it's something like that, um, it's still work. So yeah, but probably won't do no more filming on it today. I want to get a bit more work done on it and then probably bring it back maybe in a couple of days when it's quiet and we can uh, we can get on with some. So well, I'll see you in a couple of days, in a bit. Well guys, brought you back. I'm Dino Man Flew, as you can probably hear. There's been no fishing. Um, this is a couple of weeks later from, from, the, from the last bit of the video. Um, <coughs> yeah, I'm dying. Um, right, all these marks here, yeah, they've all got to be cut out. All them bits, that's the side, that's the side of the ship. Um, all them all them bits there, in, they're too thin. All these little numbers and measurements. So that, that bit there, that's 5.3, 5.3, 5.3, and in there it's 5, 4.5, which is too thin. Uh, that it needs to be, the metal, the metal needs to be thicker. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, they're bits that have got to be cut out. All this is now getting cut off and being replaced by us, and the same that side. Um, but last time I brought you back, sorry about the noise, nice welding. Um, last time, there was none of this. All the new deck beams all in, all the gussets all in, it's all been fully welded, it's all ready to go for the new deck sheets, which we are going to start laying today at some point. Um, they've been busy in there, they've cleaned it out. For the last two weeks, there's been two blokes in there with needle guns and grinders cleaning all the old paint off. Um, and they just started painting out the build just with that red paint. Um, Nafe's in there, welding, I would say busy, but he's not really busy, he's just sitting around like he normally does. <sighs> That's all the framework for the um, for the rudder. Satin knife. Um, yeah. So that's all the framework for the rudder, and that that shaft you can see there <clears throat> connects to this, which is all the rudder workings. It goes into that bit. Um, yeah. Hopefully you can see the shape. You can see the camera where the deck goes up and over like that. Which was what we were trying to achieve. As you remember, the, the metal that went round the sides here, went round the gunnels, was a lot taller, which we completely cut off, which most of it is here. Um, this is what was on the sides, all this. So, yeah, that was all the way round. Um, but, yeah, I mean, the thing is, they've got this boat here for like well over a year because there's so much to do. So, I can't keep the video going that long because. Um, 
I probably would have had enough by enough a knife by then and jacked in. So I'm just <laughs> so I'm just showing you what um, what we've done so far. Um, and to be honest, this will probably be the last bit of the video. Um, like I say, I know it's not fishing, um, and I know a lot of people won't be interested. But please be kind. The fishing's been terrible in the southeast the last month or so. We've had Storm Kira and Storm Dennis and Storm Brian and Bob and Jim and Billy Joe and mate, it's been a nightmare, absolute nightmare every single day. I mean, there's a bit of sunshine out there today, but that is about it. Other than that, I don't think I've seen the sun for the last three, four weeks. Um, so yeah, I'll, to be honest, I want to get out this week after work, but the tides are just the tides are all completely wrong. So it don't look like there's going to be any fishing now until the weekend. So hopefully we will get out. Even if I have to go and catch this little flat dogfish, um, it'd just be a fishing video. I haven't been for I ain't been for a month. I don't think I've done. I think the last time I went fishing was I don't even know. It's been that long. So anyway, I better let you go. I need to get on with some work. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers all. Right guys, I've brought you back. Nice, nice busy cutting out deck sheets. The radio's going so I can't talk long because of um, noise and copyright and all that. These are the deck sheets basically. So these get cut out. Look, you can see that one. We've done the back one. They're just cutting out the edge for that one. And then they go down on the deck. Um, yeah. That's going to be probably definitely it now for this video. Um, <coughs> because oh, oh, I said it, it'll take forever we're going to be here a while I'll probably do another one in about four years when it's finished <laughs> um, and show you that little knife just made me look bless him I like that the plasma plaque <clears throat> he said he'll happily make any YouTuber a plasma plaque I start at £299 plus that <laughs> and that's with free postage <laughs> in a bit guys have a good one